could this sound become a thing of the past in Fort Worth? And tonight, Fort Worth is uh, one of the cities considering new technology to know the moment a shot is fired. This is called Shot Spotter, and police departments nationwide have spent millions on it. Channel 8's Chris Hawes traveled to Long Island, New York, to find out how this technology is credited with saving lives. But if you continue in something that's not pleasing to God... Bishop R.W. Harris prayed for dozens of crime victims over the years as pastor of Grace Cathedral International in southern Long Island. One was killed down the street from his own home. I heard the shots when they actually went off. We're not really looking close enough at the problem, and the neighborhood gave up on us. They didn't call. Then, two years ago, the Nassau we County Police Department area. bought Shot Spotter, a gunshot detection system. Here's how the system works. Somewhere in Nassau County, shots are fired. Dozens of sensors perched on poles and buildings detect the sound, use GPS to triangulate a location, and within seconds, send the information to a dispatch computer. No one calls 911, but because of ShotSpotter, police get there in time to save a bleeding victim. It happened to this man in 2009. In another case, we got a problem. We already know where it is, 42 John Street. It tells it, it maps it, it dates it. ShotSpotter alerted officers to a gang member firing at a rival gang's car. Several arrests were made with handguns recovered. Without ShotSpotter, do you think someone would have died? Absolutely. Um, the department is one of more than 60 nationwide using the system. Here in North Texas, Dallas signed a contract for a small pilot project. For more than two years, however, the details could not be worked out. Last month, ShotSpotter decided to cancel plans for the pilot. In a letter, DPD says it may consider a newer ShotSpotter product. Fort Worth is also looking at the system. The thing that we're looking at for ShotSpotter is being able to locate some surveillance video along with the system so that not only will we be able to identify certain areas where gunshots are being uh, fired from, but also have the video to match that, um, hopefully to identify suspects a lot quicker. ShotSpotter Flex, the newest product, costs 40 to 60000 a year per square mile. Our main concern right now is the cost. CSJ Analysis published a study on ShotSpotter this year. What was the biggest complaint about ShotSpotter? The agencies we interviewed, every one of them said that their biggest complaint was uh, false positives. That's a nail gun. D -d 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 banging on the roof. Departments can, however, teach the system. <laughs> reclassifying each sound. As a result, commanders in early adopter departments like Minneapolis, San Francisco, and Nassau County tell News 8 false positives are no longer a problem. ShotSpotter now also offers a separate gunshot sound screening service to dispatch centers. It's also an investment in the safety of, of our police officers. In Nassau County, gun violence in the ShotSpotter zone was down more than 90 percent in the first quarter of this year. Now the potential perpetrators are aware that when they do fire a gun, that there's going to be almost an immediate response. It's created a trust, Bishop Harris says, that was not there before. That relationship might have been solely built over time without the technology. But his community could not afford to wait. In Nassau County, New York, Chris Hawes, Channel 8 News.